What's going on YouTube? Bryce Christian F4 here bringing you another Icons of the Realms opening. This time we have the Bugbear Warband. A uh, pretty sweet little set here. It comes with a Bugbear, a Bugbear Chief, a Bugbear, a Bugbear, a Bugbear, and a Bugbear. Um, so a little different than like the Hobgoblin Warband, which had different variants of the Hobgoblins. Um, more along the lines of, I believe, the Grung and kobolds nah the kobolds had a few different special kobolds um maybe the goblin i think that one was pretty much just full of goblins um so yeah picked this up on amazon i think it was around 40 is what these usually run for um so far they've all pretty much been worth the price except for the grung one to be honest um i don't know why that one just did not feel worth the price and i think a kobold and goblin one uh i probably only said they were worth the price because I got them for around 30 or 20. Um, so let's check this out. Let's start with uh, that one's with two, uh, this one. This is got bugbear number one. Cameron. Oh, the dogs are freaking out one second while they calm down. OK, sorry about that. Um, I'll try and edit whatever. Uh, so we have the first bugbear here and I can't get my camera to really want to focus on him um oh god i got spray paint all over my hand didn't realize it uh i was priming some miniatures earlier um his this ear is malformed but you don't mind because bugbears are kind of like you know i mean look at this guy he's a brute he's a barbarian so him having a malformed ear is actually pretty cool um light fur dark fur not bad this is like the I feel like stereotypical bugbear look. Uh, so not angry about it. Although I'm looking and his arm appears to have been like glued on. Like this is not one full mold, which is interesting. I thought most of the smaller figures were. We'll set him aside and then we'll grab this bugbear, which I believe is a female bugbear. So I like that, that we actually got some female bugbears because most of the time you see bugbears in drawings and stuff, they're all male. Um, What I'm not liking about this is that her staff brown, like her spear, uh, is the same color as her fur. She has no color variation in her fur, unfortunately. This one at least has some. That's a little sad. Uh, I like her outfit and her armor pieces, though. Those are pretty cool. Not bad. Uh, is this number three? That is number six, five. Three. Uh, number three is a male bugbear who kind of suffers the same fate as this one, where the, the darker fur is almost the same color as the leather armor. Uh, but it's not. But I wish the leather armor had a little bit more color. Like the fact that most of these are three colors is a little... Come on, you, you know, these are the premium figures and they're not in the blind boxes. I feel like they should be colored just a little better uh, for the price. I do like him though, cool leather. I like the ax and changes it a bit. Uh, so we have Bugbear 4 who might be my favorite. Um, and this is what I wanted though. He's got, you know, there's variations of brown just in his arms. And he's got the kind of the dark beard and head he's got a freaking sick unibrow uh even his knee pads are a different color from his pant armor and whatever kind of weapon he's got is just sick so yeah this this is my favorite so far um very cool figure close up here of him so then this is number five which is oh bugbear number five i didn't realize they were literally just called bugbear number one two three four and five um crossbow again more heavily armored uh rocking very similar uh fur color to that one but more armored obviously with his uh chain mail where the rest were mostly in the leathers or very few metal um i like that his crossbow bolts are on his side reach down pop one in pull it back uh, I'm not sure about the foot wrap. I kind of wish he would have either had both foot wrap or 
only one. Um, or even like boots, like metal boots, since he is kind of more of a an armored bugbear. Who's to say bugbears can't wear boots? Then finally, we have uh, the bugbear chief, who is another female, I believe. So that's another cool thing. Um, I like that she actually has some, again, very Asian. God, there's spray paint all over my hands. I apologize for that. Uh, look, it's under my nail. That might just be some army paint paint, but whatever. Not terrible. Her face is kind of malformed. I feel like they did the female's head smaller than the, the male bugbears, but I could be wrong. Uh, her face just feels like it needs more color to it. It feels like it is suffering the same fate as this one where they are just the same color, but maybe that's a, a female bugbear thing. They're just all one color brown. And I don't know that in the lore. Not sure. Um, I like her mace. I feel like I do feel like this one looks more like the chief, though, with its ar just how heavily armored it is compared to her. But I don't know. Um, so let's let's see here. The la my least favorite is going to be the first female because her fur color is all one color and it's the same color as her spear. <laughs> Uh, next, I am going to probably give it to the axe guy uh, because he's just very drab brown. I really like his pose and I like his axe, but I don't like that his dark fur is just blends into his leathers. I wish his leathers had more um, like a shadow wash or something over them just to differentiate. Uh... Then I think I'm going to give it to actually probably the chief. Um, again, running into the same problem as the other three. Yes, this one has some nice white on the leathers, but that's the only thing that kind of separates its browns. Every other brown just kind of runs together, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to give it to this guy next because he is the first one where the browns actually kind of vary and then I like his mace and I actually like that his ear is kind of malformed, even though I don't think that's uh, intentional. Oh, uh, look at the back. Uh, nope. This one definitely has an ear. So uh, my favorite or next favorite is going to be this guy. Um, very heavily armored. Honestly, think he should have been the chief because of the armor. I uh, love the crossbow bolts. I like that. Um, this guy only beats him out very slightly, uh, but I do think he is the most detailed with the most paint, and I really enjoy his weapon a lot. Also, when you turn it like that, it almost looks like he has an eye patch on instead of just a unibrow, and that makes him look a little cooler. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is the Bugbear Warband. Um, for the $40 range, I'm going to say no, and it's because these three just seem like they were afterthoughts when it came to paint so when you have three figures that didn't really get the paint it makes it harder to say yes this is worth full price uh if you can pick it up for 30 definitely worth it considering that i mean what six figures so 5 10 15 20 25 30 yeah that's that's five bucks a figure which is still a little pricey but it is whiz kids so uh but that is gonna wrap this one up everybody i hope you all enjoyed and i'll catch you later Peace.